we posted a couple days ago a haul. I said I shouldn't have done it. I said I wasn't gonna probably order any more. Here we are, I ordered more. So uh, the part two of that old haul, cause it was technically the same sale. It's not, it's not a lot different. It's just a little, little bit different. I wanna start by saying we did a review of the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. On camera, I was kinda like, it's fine. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. I just think it's gonna require a few layers before you kinda get that really nice, like full coverage effect. It is just taking a little bit of time to build it. So it may, you may see me work with it for a hot minute, if that makes sense. I lied, I'm a liar, I'm sorry. I promise I would never lie to you guys, but here I am, I'm coming back and I'm owning to you. I take it back, this is great. This is, I love it. Working with it, I felt like I had to get a lot to kind of make it apply fully. It's, I, I, I no. Not really. A couple pumps was enough to do it. I'm currently wearing it on my face. I really love it. The skin, they're the color match that I did pretty much is perfect for my skin. Um, I did pull a little bit today on my nose when I did my highlighter because I used a, like a press, not press, like the sticky highlight. I don't know what to say. Like the ones you have to apply with your finger. I don't like using those. I normally use powders. This one, it kind of pulled a little bit when I did. So that's on my own. That's on me. That's not me. That's not the foundation spot. I don't blame the foundation for that. I walked around all day after we did the review of this and I was like, I love the way my skin looks. I went back and bought two more before the sale ended, which it ended that day, which is why we filmed that day. So I could see if I wanted to order more and make sure I got it done. So I did order another Ulta haul from that. I spent about $90 on this one. Um, they still had the free tote bag. I said they ran out of the white ones. So I got another one of the pink ones. I don't know. I'm either gonna keep two of them or I'll give it away as a gift or I don't know. I don't know, but I got, it was free. So I wasn't gonna not get it. So. We got that. I did buy two more of these. Um, they're put away currently because I reorganized my foundation so they already got put away. But along with that, so in the last haul, I got um, Blue Jean Baby from Arctic Box. I also picked up Ritual. I picked up Ritual because I've been wanting to try this for a really long time. In fact, this was the first shade I saw from Arctic Box um, back when I was still blonde, when I was thinking about dyeing my hair a color. I was like, I would really wanna try this. It's just like a really deep kind of maroon color looks gorgeous on. I think I'm definitely gonna love this one, but I went with Blue Jean Baby first because I wanna change it up a little bit. And then I was like, well, what if I hate it? So then I was like, I don't really have anything to fix it with. So I picked up Ritual in case I hate it to fix it. But then I was thinking, and in, in the shower I said, Andy, let's think, let's, let's think about what we can do that's gonna be new. What I'm thinking is gonna happen is I love the split hair look, like when people dye one half one color, one half the other color. And these are both really dark shades. So maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll do half blue, half dark red. We'll see how it looks. I may look like an American flag because I'm white as hell. So it'll just be red, white, and blue, but we'll see. I'm gonna test it if it if I hate it, whatever. I'll just dye my hair all one color or I'll, I, at this point, what do I care? I'm just sitting in my house all the time. If I hate it, I'll fix it or I'll live with it or whatever. That's kind of, that's a whole mood of 2020 that I'm in right now. It's just like, what does it even matter? I'm just gonna live my damn life. So that's what probably is gonna happen. But I did wanna get Ritual. Cause like I said, all my other colors that I know I like are pretty low. So I was like, let's, Let's get another one. What, it's just another $17. What does it even matter anymore? Moving along. So I had in my cart, in the, the last video I said I had stuff in my cart. Well, I had a steel of foundation that I bought in the past that was on sale for $9.75. I had two Smith & Colt foundations that were on sale for $10. They both sold out, which was good because if I had bought those before I tested the Pure, I would not have. I've been like, I spent too much money. I'm not buying the Pure again. So I'm glad I waited and let those run out. And then I bought the Pure because I like the Pure way better than I like the Stila one. And I haven't tried the Smith & Colt, but I can't imagine it's better than the Pure. It just would have been cheaper. So whatever. So that happened. So those were in my cart. But I also found these two Smith & Colts. Uh, they're the same shade. I don't say them like they're different products. They're the same product. I just bought two of them because I have a problem. They are the Smith & Colt Canceled Light Diffusing Concealers. I got two of them. They were on clearance for $7 and they had pretty much all the shades left. They didn't have a huge shade variety. I think there was maybe like 15 of them, um, which is very small, but whatever. I, I, I This one seemed to be close enough. It reminds me a lot looking at it of the Tarte Shape Tape. Even the little wand on it looks the same, um, kind of the same big fat like packaging too. So yeah, I'm excited to try it for seven bucks. I was like, what the heck? I'm assuming they're clearing them out because they're not gonna bring them back. So I probably will not be able to pick them up again, at least at Ulta if I really like them, but they were normally $28. So I wasn't gonna say no, I was buying them. I was like, what the hell, might as well. You know, if they're terrible, then I wasted 15 bucks. 
it sucks, but it is what it is. So, so yeah, so I'm excited to test those out. I definitely want to test them out on um, camera for you guys. And then the final thing I got was also on sale. I think it is still on sale at Ulta. Um, but this is the ABH Norvina collection. It is the Mini Pro Palette 1. They have done, Norvina and ABH have done this huge collab. I think she's got like three pa three large palettes and like a couple mini palettes now. I do not have any of the collection. I do really like them and the colors are gorgeous. I just haven't picked them up yet. But this one was on sale, it was normally $28. It was on sale for $14.50. You get nine shades in it. And I was like, you know what, for 15 bucks, I will definitely try it. Cause I they are colors that I would gravitate towards anyway with the purples and the pinks. I really love this gold shimmer, gold pink shimmer in the center. So yeah, so I'm excited to test this one out. I will say I actually really love that with this nine color, um, set you get i believe yeah six of them are matte like fully matte not any reflectiveness in it at all and then you've got this one really hyper glitter shade and then two like demi glitters and i love that because i personally would rather work with mattes and then have like a nice highlight with the glitter shades so i'm excited about this one i really um i i had it in my cart for a very long while and i was like i gotta get it like, before it sells out so yeah so i picked that up yeah that's this haul very quick very short sweet to the point but i did want to do it just because i did pick up a couple products that i'm sure you guys will be seeing me you soon and also because i wanted to go back on the record and say i lied i love this foundation i really was not quite sure about it at first i was like i love pure it's not a bad foundation i just don't know if it's worth the money if you are looking for a quality foundation this is one of my favorites this is this is probably going to go above the tart one i don't think it quite beats the cargo cosmetics swimmables because that one is like hands down my favorite i don't even use setting powder when i use it that being said the cargo cosmetics has seven shades and this one has about 50. so this definitely has better shade variations you can definitely find a more specified look for you um, in fact I struggle to with the cargo ones I have to buy the lightest shade and the medium light shade and mix the two a lot of times because it's they just neither one really works for my skin so this really I think this really is um, one of the best foundations that has been released on the market that I have tested out so I do highly recommend it and I'm sorry that I misled you in the beginning I was young and naive and now I've aged a week and I'm I've now been enlightened so here we are all right, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul video. Uh, if you did, then give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should consider doing that. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see every time I spend money that I should not spend on things that I do not need. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.